Okay, suppose a plumber charges $80 for the first hour of work and $60 for each additional hour of work. If the plumber works a total of X hours, we want to know which of the following is an expression for the total amount charged. Well, I just want to get a feel for what's going on here. So, if the plumber works only one hour, well, he's charging that, that $80 amount. If he works two hours, it's going to be 80 plus an additional 60 for a total of $140. If the plumber works a total of three hours, well, it's going to cost you another $60. And if you add on another $60, that's going to be $200 total. So since we have you know, these, these four answer choices here, I'm just going to see which one of these gives me the correct answer. Um, so I'm going to let x equal 2. So again, we said if, if the plumber works two hours, you should be getting a, he's going to be charging $140. Let's see which one of these four formulas, when we substitute in x equals 2, gives us the value of 140. So does A work? Well, we would have 80 plus 60 multiplied by 2. Well, that's going to be 80 plus 60 multiplied by 2 is 120. Or we're getting, the va we're getting that he's charging $200, but that's not correct. We said for two hours it should be 140. So A is not correct. Part B, does that work? Well, we would have 80 plus, now I'm going to substitute an x equals 2 into my, my expression in part B. So in this case, I'm going to have 80 plus 60. 2 plus 1 is going to be 3. That's going to be 80 plus 180, which is going to be 260, which is definitely too much. So we know that one's not correct. Let's look at part C. Okay, so again, I'm substituting in x equals 2. And in this case, we would get 80 plus 60 multiplied by 1. And, hey, that's going to give me 140, which is the correct amount. So we haven't really reasoned, uh, given a, a kind of a, a good logical reason why that one's correct. But it looks like, hey, at least it's given me the right amount. Let's see if D somehow magically gives us the right amount. So for D, we have 80 plus 60 divided by X. Again, we're letting X equal 2, the number of hours. Well, 60 divided by 2 is going to be 30, so in this case we're getting 110. Again, that's not the correct amount of 140. So certainly it looks like C is correct. And again, this formula makes sense. And the reason why this formula makes sense, you know, the $80 represents the first hour, the first hour's rate. Now, 60 is going to be the rate for additional hours. And the idea is, if, if the plumber is working X hours total, right? the plumber is not charging you $60 for each of those X hours. He's charging you 80 for the first one, and then, you, so you've got one hour left at the, at the rate of $60. So the X minus 1 is basically telling you the, the number of hours worked after the first hour. So again, kind of two different ways to approach this problem. You could either you know, try to reason out the formula directly. If you're not sure, again, I think this is a great way to do it when you have the, the you know, a, a multiple choice uh, uh, type of situation, you know, just say, do, just do like we did, you know, which one works, and then you can always just kind of go through and check and, and see which one of the formulas is correct.